Hi everyone, so today I'm here with Henry, my delicate um, uh, dog, and I wanted to do an updated favorite plush video. Um, I'm in an empty room right now because one of our roommates moved out, so yeah, the voices, like the sounds are very echoey inside of here, but um, it's just nice to film because I have a lot of space, so yeah. So anyway, um, th uh, my favorite plush that I'll show, those are, I will not show them in any particular order, um, except for like the last couple, because like the last couple, like four or five are definitely my, like I definitely like them most of all of my plush, but as far as the other ones that I'm going to show are concerned, they're not like... Um, it's not just because the first one I show is the one I like least or something. It's just I, I'll just show them, them randomly pretty much. And um, yeah, so I love all of my plush, of course. <laughs> like, um, it was really hard like to pick out the ones that are my favorites because it was like, no, I have to leave you behind and you behind. But <laughs> because I love genuinely love all my plush, but. Um, I picked like 15 or 16 or something that are genuinely like, I genuinely probably couldn't live without. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> these are all my favorites. So the first one that I'm going to show is of course, well, the one you see here, which is Henry. <laughs> um, I love this guy to bits. Uh, he's a jelly cat, as I already mentioned, and he's super floppy and squishy and soft. Um, he is um, also pretty big, and uh, he is a very important plush to me. I got him from Crywolf, and I cuddle with him a lot. He is also a sort of a comfort buddy for me, so and I just love his sweet face, <laughs> and it's so funny. I love Jelly Cat, so yeah, that's him. I hope I don't, like... Um, destroy my plush pile here. <laughs> okay, so let's maybe show these two next. So the next one is Pops, my cousin mouse. Um, I got him for my birth for my birthday two years ago from my best friend, and he means a lot to me. I carry him around sometimes, like take him out with me when I'm like out in town or something. Put him in my pocket. He's just perfect. And I love mice and rats, so yeah, he's very important to me. And the next one is my rat. <laughs> he reminds me of my pet rat, Ronnie. Um, and he's just the best pet, uh, like the best rat plush that I know. Like I generally don't know any better, more like authentic looking rats. And he has a super sweet face. Showed him several times before. So yeah, I really love him. Oh, and I got him um, from eBay. Put Also put this bell on him. <clears throat> yeah, put them on the floor. <laughs> and then the next one is another mouse. I showed her before as well. It's Mia, the Stiff Mouse, and, um, yeah, it, it's just, I don't know, um, she is, like, so, I don't know, she brings, she just makes me happy, like, whenever I look at her, I just immediately, I'm happy because of the face. See, she has such a sweet, comforting face that's just really soothing and therapeutic for me for some reason, so, yeah, I, I love her. And I got her from a German store. She still has her tags, <laughs> which I um, actually was meaning to cut off by now, but I somehow just didn't get around to it <laughs> yet, so, which is very odd, but yeah. So that's her. And then the next one, I think now we'll maybe the foxes yeah so 
maybe let's start with oh my gosh i don't know <laughs> which one to start with so um gonna start with petals my sun lemon fox and i got her from shauna one of my best friends and she means a lot to me um because of that and also because she's just a great plush like her size is awesome she is super floppy and beanie she is weighted so that uh, um that is very like comforting too when you cuddle with her and she has these cute paw pads which is super adorable like I don't know many plush that have these and she's just her face is super cute it's just so sweet and yeah she's really like she's one of those serotonin <laughs> um, beans so she just bring serotonin to your system <laughs> whenever you look at her so yeah and her fur is very um like comforting too it's like super soft but at the same time like textured so yeah so that's her and the next one that i'm gonna show is Fletcher, my Douglas uh, fox. He is the deluxe fox. I got him from eBay. Shauna helped me get him for me. And here are his tags. Douglas tags. And he was, like, I got him secondhand as I get almost all of my plush, so yeah. And I love him two bits, like, <laughs> I can't describe, it's just, he's amazing, I love him so much, like, the fur is genuinely so awesome, it looks so realistic, and this might be an unpopular opinion, but to be honest, I am just a fan of this fur, like, I love um, this kind of more rougher type of fur on plush. Um, I don't know, it's just, <laughs> it's weird, but I, of course I also love like super soft plush, but the ones like these that look realistic and kind of feel like real hair, sort of, I, I just love it because it's just, I don't know, the texture of it is just so, I don't know, I just love to touch it. And whenever I hold him, it's like, like with soft plush, you, sort of it's very soothing and, and everything it's just like hugging a cloud um but the like the disadvantage i would say of like i wouldn't necessarily call it a disadvantage but a very soft fur is that it's like i don't know how to explain it but it's like you can't really feel it a lot if you know what i mean so if i hold these plush that have like these rougher fur textures it's more like um it feels more tactile you know it's like really you feel like really holding something and you can just you know it's just more yeah <laughs> you kind of feel it more and i love it so it's just nice to just hold and yeah i love these types of fur so that's why he's one of my favorites and he's at the same time like super floppy as well and like um he like his proportions are a little weird <laughs> because his hind legs and his butt they are like a, a little yeah, i can't show it on camera but they're a little like um small compared to his front like he is he is very front heavy and his head is really big but his head is just so cute. I mean, look at it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just love him to bits. So yeah, he's also one of my favorites. Um, and then the next one is my Jelly Kit Manatee. His official name is Billow, but um, I, I didn't really keep the name. I 
but I didn't rename him yet so and her actually so she's actually a girl but um yeah she doesn't she doesn't have a name yet so maybe you can think of a name and I just oh my god she's one of my favorites I always want to have a manatee and she is the best manatee out there for sure like I can only recommend her um she is so cute like I love manatee stupids they are one of the sweetest animals ever they're so gentle, so sweet, and sort of quirky at the same time. Um, so yeah, I, I just love these animals and um, the plush of, of this one. And like the plush form is so incredibly adorable, I can't. <laughs> she's so cute. And yeah, she's a great cuddle buddy. She is super beany, super floppy and squishy. And yeah, she's been cuddled a lot. So that's her, another jelly cat. And then the next one is my dingo, my WWF dingo. He still has his tag. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should cut, cut it off or not because it's like, it's a leather tag, so um, it's soft and doesn't really, like, it doesn't bother me that much, but, well, I, I'm not sure. And yeah, this guy has a story behind him. I found, I originally found him on German eBay, like, not eBay exactly, but more like a local, like, a, an, a local ads site that is, like, that belongs to eBay, so to speak, and I got him for 15 euros, so <laughs> I got him for a steal. I didn't even know that he was that rare at that point when I got him. It was when I first, like, started collecting Animal Clash, and yeah, so I got him. I had him for a while, then I traded him to Crywolf um, for one of my, like, grails at the time, um, a fox plush, like the, it was the um, Magnus and home, uh, Fox, and I think Magnus, it was Magnus and yeah, and, um, but then I, yeah, started missing him so much, and, uh, Crywolf gave him back to me, so yeah, so he ended up back with me again, and I'm so happy about it, oh my gosh, just look at him, <laughs> his face is just beyond, like, oh, beyond anything that that is like humanly possible when it comes to cuteness <laughs> he's like oh my gosh i can't <laughs> he's so cute i love his like his eyes are just oh my gosh and yeah i just love him to bits he is he has a, an awesome size as well he's pretty big and he is super squishy super floppy like the WWF tend to be and yeah I love his colors everything like and I'm a huge dog uh, like canine lover so yeah he's super cute and he is um, one of the only dingo plush out there I only know of a few more so and I know he's a grail of um, some of you guys and I uh, kind of feel bad for like having him but um, yeah I love him to bits I will never ever ever get rid of him again um, but I really hope that everyone who's looking for one finds one because he's just he's just awesome so that's him and then the next one I'm gonna show is Furbo my Douglas Fox and um, I actually have two of these I didn't bring the other one though now because I didn't want to have too ma many plush here so um, so yeah he um, is actually a girl because I renamed her um, the other one that I have I kept the name because I like Furbo um, but her I decided to make a girl and I decided on the name Lucy so yeah that's Lucy and um, I love her so much. And um, the reason why I ended up with two is actually because um, I found this on 
Macari and I asked Shauna to buy um, her for me uh, like to get her for me and then she said she wanted to like give it give her to me as a gift because I gave her Violet like her animal alley fox back and then she said she wanted to give her to me as a thank you which was awesome and then but then she like she told me that she had like um she um couldn't uh, she probably couldn't give him to me because of personal reasons, because money issues and everything. So um, I was like, okay. Uh, then I asked um, if maybe Stacy couldn't could like help me out with it. And then she actually told me that she had a fur bow that she was gonna trade me. <laughs> and so I, we decided, like, we set up a trade and everything. Um, and then, but Sean in the end, Shauna decided that she actually could send me her and so I ended up with two <laughs> and um which is awesome because I love um Furbo uh or this one Lucy uh I did have a uh, Furbo before um which I got from Crywolf in a trade originally but um yeah she also ended up missing uh him which I totally understand and so I decided that she should have him back so yeah I gave him back to her since then I've been missing him a lot he was one of my favorites and so I'm so happy to have him again or her in this case yeah I just love her like her face is super sweet I can't and she's floppy super floppy and as I said I just love this kind of fur I know unpopular opinion but I do. Uh, it's one of the best furs that you can have on a plush, in my opinion. Just looks awesome. Looks very realistic. You can just ruffle through it and everything. <laughs> so yeah, I just love it. Her fur is a little different compared to um, Fletcher, though. It's uh, her fur is um, a little more rough compared to his. So. Yeah, but that's her. And then the next one that I have is Flame. I've showed him several times in videos before. <laughs> um, I got him from Shauna originally. I mean, you already know everything about him. I told several times in videos before. So um, yeah, he is one of my favorites. He is, he means so much to me. He was her. Like, he was Shauna's first, like, gift to me, and I will just never, ever give him away because he just means a lot to me. He is also very comforting to me. He is, he got lots of love, so he's sort of loved, but it's still um, in a pretty good state, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, I just love him. He is one of the best fox plush out there. His eyes are beautiful, like these slit eyes that foxes have. And he's, of course, super floppy. And the size is just overall awesome. So that's him. And then the next one is kind of of the same family. Um, he is um, the smaller size dark red fox by WWF and um, I got him in a trade uh, no not in a trade I helped Shauna get some plush and he was that w were in a lot and he was among them so and I like she said I could keep him so yeah he's one of my favorites he's so cute his face is adorable so it's kind of a little hard to see because of the lighting situation, but yeah, he is like super loved. <laughs> he, his fur, like you can really tell, his fur is super matted. And yeah, also on his tail, um, super matted. 
but I actually like it. Like, I like the texture of it, and it's still very soft. So, she's a loved bean, and um, I got two of them as well. Um, surprisingly, I have <laughs> um, two versions of a lot of plush. I uh, didn't bring him though, um, because as I said, I didn't want to have too many plush there, but you can basically just imagine like both of them are pretty much among my favorite plush because they're essentially the same plush. Um, the other one that I have is Blaze, and he is, um, I got him from Timberkins94 uh, in a trade. Um, and yeah, I love these guys, or this guy. Um, he means, like, or she actually, she's a girl. Um, she means a little more to me though, um, because she's just, I don't know, she has so much character because of her being loved and everything, so yeah, that's her. And so now I would say we enter like the the top, top, top favorite territory. <laughs> so as I mentioned before, the, <clears throat> the last few are really my, like, they're they're even above like all the others. <laughs> so um, first one, of course. This is my Finn, um, my WWF Red Fox. I got him for Christmas from my then boyfriend at that time, a long time ago, when he was still in stores. Um, it was 2013, I, I think, and yeah, he is just, like, he's incredibly important to me. Um, he's one of the most important plush to me, and he is just amazing. He is so sweet. His face is just, yeah, just, I have no words. Like, he's, he's just amazing, and he's, of course, super floppy, and as you can tell, he's also super loved, <laughs> because, yeah, he means a lot to me, and he, his stuffing in his like belly is actually gone pretty much but I remember when I first got him even his stuffing already was like um not a lot in this area so but it got even even less <laughs> and I also have another uh, one of these who would have guessed <laughs> um in her uh which um I found on German um marketplace on Facebook and her name is Hazel, so, but I didn't bring her. I showed her in another video before though, so, yeah. That's him. And then the next one. Oh gosh, it's, now it's, it's getting hard to really, I, from, from now on, I can't really pinpoint, a, a, like, the number one favorite. I just pretty much like them equally. It's just... I just can't, like, <laughs> I can't um, put up a hierarchy like that because it's it doesn't make sense to me. I just love them equally. So the next one is, of course, my beloved um, Gypsy Red Fox that I got from France originally. And yeah, what can I say? I just love this guy to bits. He's called Winston. I originally named him Forrest, but I renamed him because Winston is just, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of more like fitting for him, I think. And yeah, he's just awesome. He's my favorite fox plush. Um, I just, he's, I even like him more compared to the Animal Alley, the Magnuson Home, like every other big fox plush. He's, he's just amazing. He's my favorite. Love his tail. He's super floppy. Everything like, yeah. So that's him. And I do have another one. <laughs> but it's not the gypsy one, but the um, um, FAO one. And I, like, I didn't bring the others, but I brought him. <laughs> so, because, yeah, he's just special. Um, so that's Linden. My other one, he's the FAO, 
and I will I could maybe do a comparison video um, now that I think of it um, and I got him from the awesome Timberkins 94 and um, we actually did a trade between like I traded her um, another gypsy fox that I found in France and I asked her if she would trade her linden for it if she wanted to because I always wanted to have an FAO um, fox like to kind of have a comparison I guess and they really um, they do be different though <laughs> like <laughs> they are they really are a little different um, his fur is of course his fur is kind of it's, it's like curled up and everything because when I got him he was wet like because it had rained um, so yeah, but I decided to keep it like that because it's, I think it's actually pretty cute. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So, um, but that's him. And, uh, he is super awesome as well. He has a few differences, which I could maybe address in a comparison video one day. His tail, as you can see, is a little different. It's more like lighter colored, more like brownish red colored compared to my Gypsy Fox. And they, like his fur is a little, it's different for, in some way. I don't, I can't describe it, but it's more like, it feels more. It's a little softer, I would guess, and the colors are a little different as well. And um, also, he has beans in his uh, paws, while um, Winston doesn't have beans in his paws. He, um, both of them have lots of beans in, in the butt though. <laughs> so. But I like it. Like the beans in the in the feet are um, one of my favorite features um, about plush. So yeah, so that's both of them. And then the next ones. Maybe I'll do him. So the next one is this dude. <laughs> and um, yeah, I showed him in the unboxing video. Got him yesterday. And I waited for him to do this video because, of course, he is among my favorites. Like, what can I say? I mean, <laughs> he is just awesome. He is a great, like, I cuddle with him already a lot. And um, he's one of the best plush that I ever owned. Like, the quality of this plush is just amazing it's beyond of this world um he's big he is soft he's squishy he's floppy he's cuddly and just overall like amazing i love bears he's sweet his face is super sweet he's oh my gosh he's so therapeutic so like comforting to cuddle with and to hug so yeah of course he's among my favorites who would have thought <laughs> that but yeah that's my Woody, and I will never get rid of him, ever. I just adore him. So that's him, and I just yield him on the floor. And then the last two that I have, I'll show them together, <laughs> are my two favorite doggos. Um, of course, um, Rudy, the pit bull, the dog was pit bull and um, Gina the German Shepherd, the signature uh, Webkin's German Shepherd. And I showed them before as well, but as you know, they both mean a lot to me. I just love dogs to bits, and pit bulls are some of my favorites. Um, they're just so sweet, and um, yeah, I just love her so much. Like, whenever I hold her, it's like, instant instant love <laughs> it's just hard to describe but I, I i'm sure you know that feeling and um it's kind of hard to see like her eyes are hard to see but she just has the sweetest little face ever i just can't um she's maybe the cutest plush i ever i like have um yeah pit bulls just have super cute faces and they captured this so so perfectly in this plush and she was my grail, and I was so lucky to get her. You can hear the story when 
I okay, I can't speak. You can hear the story in uh, another video. I did an uh, unboxing of her and she came, uh, I unboxed her actually with the German Shepherd together because um, I managed to get them around the same time. And Shauna helped me like post them. So yeah. <laughs> and yeah, of course, then Gina, the German Shepherd. I honestly, I love them both to bits. Maybe if I'm honest with you, probably I even like her a little more though. Like I, it's just very, yeah, it's hard to like really say um, that I have, that I like one more because I like them almost equally. But if I had to choose, I would say that um, I like her even a little tiny, tiny, teeny, teeny, weeny, bitty more, <laughs> but not a lot. So yeah, Gina, the German Shepherd, I just, I don't know what it is about her, but I, I don't know. I just fell for her so hard. She's maybe if I would, yeah, if I could choose if, if uh, an evil, like, spirit came to me and said okay you can only keep one single plush then probably i would choose her like okay probably maybe i would choose my childhood plush i like which i haven't shown here but um uh i decided not to show him because i don't know it's like favorite plush um from the standpoint of the plush that are important to me now i guess and that at the same time, I just love as plush in and of themselves, if that makes sense. But yeah, but yeah, it, to be honest, it, like if I had to choose um, one single plush, I would probably choose her. I I don't know. It's just um, I would probably like be desperate, desperately sad for the rest of my life because I lost all the other ones. And I said I love them all to bits, but um, she's just. I don't know what it is, guys. I don't know, but I just fell for this plush so hard. I can't. She's floppy. She's like, yeah, the face, everything is just, I can't describe it. It's like when you fall in love with a person as well, you just don't know why it is sometimes. And it's just, you can't explain. It's just, it's just there and it's just like that. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just so in love with her. She is amazing. And I named her Gina. Uh, I gave her this collar, um, which another plush of me had before. <laughs> and I named her Gina because of my uh, like childhood dog that I had. Or our, uh, uh, she was our family dog back in the day. So. Maybe that's also contributing to why I, I'm just in love with this plush. Um, yeah, she doesn't look anything like her <laughs> though. Like she was a German Shepherd mix, but I don't know. It's just a plush doesn't have to look like exact, uh, like an animal uh, or a pet that you had, I guess, in order for it to kind of just remind you of this pet or to be a memory of this pet i guess so yeah she is she is of course her own like personality i guess but at the same time she's sort of memory of our dog so maybe that's also why she's so important to me but um yeah i don't know what it is but yeah gina my german shepherd and Rudy, of course, as I said, it's it kind of sounds like she is my, you know, I like her way more than all the others, but um, it's just really just a tiny bit, you know, both of them are, and all the others like Winston and Woody and everything, so they just mean a lot to me, but I don't know, Gina, she's kind of special, yeah, so um, those were all my favorite plush. Um, I hope uh, <laughs> I um, didn't uh, end making sense in the end when I tried to describe 
<laughs> my feelings towards some plush. So um, yeah, that kind of got a little ridiculous towards the end. But I hope you enjoyed anyways. And um, yeah, I would love to see all your favorite plushies and what they mean to you and everything. So um, yeah, uh, see you in the next video and have a great day. Bye.